Hi friends, it's story time. Today's story is called Still Stuck by Shinsuke Yoshitake. If I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> hmm, I think we can see someone stuck right on the front. Here's a preview of something that's gonna happen later. Hmm, has that ever happened to you? Have you ever gotten stuck inside your clothes? Hmm, this might be familiar. If you were ever trying to take your shirt off and then your arms got trapped, that's what happened to this person. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what this child is going to do. It all started when mom said it was time for a bath. So there's mom, hands on her hips. Hmm, I wonder if she's already been asking him for a while to get ready for a bath. She looks already a little irritated when I see her hands on her hips like that. Oh, and look at this picture. She has really angry looking eyebrows. <laughs> hmm, I wonder if mommy is tired. Let's see. She wanted to help me get ready, but I told her I could do it all by myself. See how the artist drew lots of legs down here? That's how they draw something that's moving. Because you can't, it's hard to show moving in a picture, right? So mommy is pulling on the shirt and she's pulling so hard. She's lifting this kid right up into the air and he's kicking his feet, kick, 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 kick. That's why he looks like he has so many legs right here. I tried and tried to get my shirt off because remember, he said he wanted to do it himself. But I was stuck. So again, how do you draw something that moves? You might draw more than one of it and then these little lines mean that he was moving back and forth and back and forth, up and down, forward and back side to side. Oh, now he's giving up. He says, what if I'm stuck forever? What would happen? Well, I was sure lots of important people had been stuck before. I couldn't have been the first. Here, he's imagining, what if he were a grown-up famous person about to give a big talk in front of a lot of people and they're all clapping and cheering and there he is still stuck in his shirt. That's a funny idea. Maybe I didn't need to get unstuck. It wouldn't be so bad. He's imagining here running through a field, but what if I got thirsty? How can he open the refrigerator stuck inside a shirt? Hmm, that would be a problem. Well, I would find a way. <laughs> I don't know how he got it, but he found a straw and the straw is going right into his shirt. But what if the cat tickled my tummy. It looks like he's lying on the floor and the cat is trying to stand on him and the cat's soft little paws tickling his tummy. How would I make him stop? Well, I would be really nice to him and I would take him with me everywhere I went. <laughs> As he's walking down the streets and people are looking, the cat is going for a ride on his head. Well, almost everywhere. Where would he not take the cat? Can you see where he is? Hmm, I don't know how he's gonna wash his hands there. Hmm, that will be a problem. I wondered if there were others still stuck too. There he is on the corner wondering, hmm, anybody else stuck? Oh, here's someone in a red shirt that's stuck. I bet we would have fun together. Here they are, rolling around shirt to shirt, talking to each other shirt to shirt, catching butterflies together. Hmm, 
I guess they can still hold that long handle inside their shirts. So I decided to stay that way forever. It wasn't so bad. Here he is on top of a mountain with a deer looking at him. Hmm. He's just deciding. It'll be fine if I'm stuck in this shirt. But then, then I got cold. I thought about asking mom for help. No, no, I could do it myself. Maybe it would help if I took my pants off first. So he's struggling again, side to side, upside down. Now he flipped onto his tummy, he's trying to pull it off that way. And now he's trying to take off his pants. He's thinking maybe pants first is a good idea. That's kind of like when you're doing a puzzle. If you can't figure out one way, you could just pick a different puzzle piece to try. So he's thinking, well, maybe I should stop thinking about my shirt and I'll take off my pants instead. Uh-oh, now what happened? He's even more stuck. That was a bad idea, he says. Knock, knock. <laughs> this is what mommy sees when she comes in. <laughs> oh. oh, mommy's going to help now. Bath time. So mommy's peeling off his clothes, his shirt, his pants, his socks, his underwear, and she's carrying him to the bathtub under her arm. I guess she waited long enough for him to get himself undressed. Scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. Spray, spray. Scrub, scrub. And then, now mom says it's time to put on my pajamas. I think these little lines are that he's steaming warm from the bath. First, I put on my underwear. Then I put on my pants. I knew I could do it all by myself. Until I'm stuck again. Good thing this shirt has some buttons, though. But maybe he doesn't know how to do buttons. Oh, no. Maybe he needs more help. Or maybe... Maybe it's kind of fun to be stuck. Have you ever needed help? And then you ended up in a situation that actually was a little bit fun? I think that's happened to me. Here he is walking around. Remember this picture? And mommy is looking at him saying, I'm stuck, I'm stuck, help. <laughs> Have you ever tried to think of things to make bath? and bath time lasts a long time and bedtime be later. That happens sometimes, right? Thank you for joining me today for this book. I'll see you again soon. Bye.